Okay, so it's technically the end of the day, but I wanted to throw this clip in at the beginning of my video to make sure that whoever was the sweet person who did this nice thing for me saw it because I didn't want it to get buried under all my other clips of the day. So somebody sent me a gift. I don't know who it was. There was no tag. I was not expecting anything. And it came in an Amazon envelope. And when I opened it, like I said, there's no tag. And somebody, I don't know who you are, but thank you, whoever you are, sent me this amazing gift, a set of steak knives. And they're not just steak knives. They are unicorn steak knives. Well, they're technically not probably not unicorn steak knives, but they remind me of a unicorn. Look at that color on them. Oh my gosh, I have a set of six steak knives. No more whacking, no more feeble attempts. Somebody out there was tired of seeing me whack at things. So whoever sent them, I wish you would have included a note to let me know that you sent them because this is so sweet. Look how pretty. They are amazing. Thank you so much. Like I said, I don't know who you are that sent them, but thank you so much for sending them. I love them, they are beautiful, and I will definitely be using these. So, if you're out there and you sent me these beautiful knives, can you leave a comment below? or email me or something to let me know it was you so I can thank you because that was so very sweet of you. So thank you so much and let's get on with the daily vlog, shall we? Hey everyone and good morning and welcome to another week of my daily food vlogs and daily ramblings. I guess you could probably call them because we all know that I like to ramble. If you're new here, I'm Jen. If you're a returning viewer, subscriber, friend, I'm still Jen, but welcome back. And so these vlogs are showing you guys everything I eat in a day. Anything that I put in my mouth, I'll be showing you. Um, I'm just following a regular diet, an 1800 calorie diet, lower carb, higher protein, higher fiber, that's it. So lots of water and pretty basic stuff. Um, okay, so what I've done this morning already, it is 8.39 a.m. and it is May the 13th, 2019. It's a Monday morning. And what I've done already is, my sleep schedule is kind of off again because I've had some changes in my life and it's affected the way I sleep. So um, I'm struggling to get that sleep schedule back again. So I fell asleep around three o'clock this morning and I slept until six. So here's what I've done already this morning. After I woke up at six o'clock, I took a shower I exercised I did my video exercise video and that I put the link in the description yesterday I will leave it in the description again today as well as the hand weights that I got I forgot to leave those in the description yesterday so they will be in the description below after I exercised I took some garbage out and I uploaded my video for from the weekend and now I'm ready to eat my breakfast at 8:40 a.m. So here's what I have for my breakfast. My, as per usual, in my pretty cup with my name on it, and it says "Slay Sparkle Repeat" that Miss Amy made me. And in here I have my 12 ounces of coffee, and it is full of ice plus a quarter of a cup of French vanilla, sugar-free French vanilla creamer. 
and then to actually eat it's getting kind of mushy now because it's been sitting here for a couple minutes but I have two cups of raisin bran this was all that was left in the box so I just used it I did measure it and it is two cups with one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond breeze over top of it but the cereal has mostly absorbed the milk already so That'd be good. Somebody did suggest to me in the comments the other day that I should try for my hair and it worked oh it worked very well. I just need to do it earlier. So since I couldn't sleep, I always wash my hair separately from when I take a shower. It's just a weird thing that I do. So I washed my hair around two o'clock this morning and I put she suggested that I put some of the sea salt beachy waves. I can't remember the name of it. I know what it is, but I don't remember the name of it. Like a leave-in stuff in my hair. And I don't have any of that. So I just used a little bit of coconut oil and then I braided my hair. And it really did help keep it from getting too shaggy. Um, it was only in for about four hours. The braid was so I think if I wash my hair in the evening before I go to bed earlier like 11 12 o'clock by morning around 7 or so it will be nice and tamed because it did tame it quite a bit and excuse me thank you to her very much awesome suggestion so after since I've worked out it's weird saying I worked out I don't know if you'd actually call it a workout or just an exercise, but I did do that. And then later today, I will have my Schwann's haul for you. Today's Schwann's day. Um, I don't really know of anything else that's going on today. I'm waiting on a phone call, waiting to talk to a friend, and um, that's about it. So I will check back after I eat this. The calories for this will be in the clip will be after following this clip. Well, I'll have a picture as I always do of the calories. And then I will see you back when I think of something else or with my Schwann haul or my lunch or my snack or whatever comes next. All right, I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, it's 10.30 a.m. And I'm having a snack. I'm having one ounce of Colby Jack cheese and one small golden delicious apple. The cereal didn't really hold me over. I think maybe because it didn't have a lot of protein maybe. I'm not sure, but I feel like I haven't eaten anything. So I'm definitely not going to be having cereal too often. I think oatmeal is a better option if I want some kind of cereal type food but this is my snack and this is what I'll be having before lunch all right it's almost two o'clock and it's time for some lunch so in the microwave I already have my turkey sausage going I'm gonna have breakfast for lunch I'm going to weigh out three ounces of the Schwann's Roasted Peppers and Onions for my eggs. Alright, 2.9. Those are done. Now I'm going to do the lazy egg way. And I'm just going to break it in the pan. Oh, I got a shell. And then add my two tablespoons of egg whites to that. I'm going to make it a scramble and not necessarily an 
omelet today. Okay, to that I'm going to add my everything with the bagel seasoning. more that I'm getting low on it. A couple twists of pink Himalayan salt and then a ton of black pepper. There's my quick lunch. Two turkey sausage patties, one egg with three ounces of peppers and onions, and three tablespoons of egg whites scrambled up, and that's what I'm eating for lunch. I'll see you back for dinner. All right, so I have checked my calories. I hope this is, I know it's kind of dark and I've done the best I can with light because, oh wait, I have a light here. Oh, it's a little yellow, but I have a light. I forgot I have a light on my stove. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so like I was saying, I've checked my calories and I'm good to go for eight ounces of chicken. I know there's only 6.9 ounces here, but I just calculated it is eight ounces so I'm going to have barbecue chicken and a side of fake coleslaw healthy style so here's what I'm gonna do I probably will not eat all this chicken because this is a lot of chicken but I'm gonna make it and then I'll see what I feel like having To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the G. Hughes sugar-free honey barbecue sauce, and I'm going to use four tablespoons, which is two servings. There's two tablespoons per serving and 10 calories per serving. So we're going to do four tablespoons. This is really good for a sugar-free um, barbecue sauce. I was surprised. I was expecting it to taste really bad, but it doesn't. I have a new bottle of this, but I don't want to break the new bottle out. I kind of just want to use what's here. But I'm going to probably have to. Alright, so here's my new bottle. I hope you guys can see. It's dark, I know. It's the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce honey flavored and as I was showing you in the other probably can't see two tablespoons is 10 calories so I'm doing two servings which is four tablespoons I already have two tablespoons on there which is one serving so I'm going to just do two more tablespoons With that one and two. So I'm just going to give that a stir. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this looks like an awful lot of chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
only use half of this and then if I'm hungry later I can have the other half as a snack because I've already budgeted the calories out but I'm kind of worried because it looks like a lot so all right, I'm just gonna leave it as is oops you can't even see That's like five something ounces. I can't see because of the light, but it's five point something ounces. So I'm going to have that. This is what's left on the plate. And this is what I will save for later if I need it. If I feel like I'm hungry or tomorrow, whatever. So I have my container there. I'm going to do my half cup because that's what was in the drawer. That's what I reached for at first. Half. Half is one. One and a half. And two. All right, so to that, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of blue cheese crumbles. I'm just doing a half of the half for the quarter. And then nine hot banana pepper rings. I'm just kind of guesstimate. I was going to add some pickles, but I don't think I am going to add any pickles to this. And for my dressing, the creamy bacon, Walden Farms. And we're just going to mix it all up. Alright, so there's my dinner barbecue pulled chicken with a big, healthy, coleslaw-ish kind of salad on the side. A healthier take to the old classic. Alright, that is, as far as I know, all I'll be eating this evening. If I have anything else, I will add it. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, stay tuned after this, and I will give you a little update on what I thought of my food for the day. Alright guys, it's the end of the day. It's my kind of wrap up part of the video, letting you guys know and just talking a little bit, a bit about my food and how it went. So it's seven o'clock and I'm just about to eat dinner. I'm early tonight. I know it's not a lot earlier, but for me it's a lot earlier. I was just squeezing in around eight or a little after eight and I wanna try to stick with my what my dietitian tells me and not eat after eight. So, breakfast, I was not happy with my breakfast. So there's nothing wrong with having cereal in general, but it just did not keep me satisfied. 
I ate it and about an hour later I was starving to death again and I think there was like 400 and some calories in the cereal because I had two cups as well as a cup of the almond milk you'll have seen the calories I haven't added them up well they're in my fitness pal but I haven't looked at the total breakdown yet but it was a lot of calories to have for breakfast and not be satisfying so I did have a snack at around 10 because I was so hungry um, my lunch I was very satisfied with my lunch because that's usually kind of what I have for breakfast except I just used one egg instead of two since it was lunch and I wanted it to be a little bit lighter than what I have for breakfast and then my dinner I'm very happy with my dinner I haven't eaten it yet but I'm about to the pulled chicken pulled barbecued chicken and like kind of a coleslaw-ish type of dish on the side, my salad, my chopped salad. Very happy with that. Um, pulled pork and coleslaw is one of my favorite meals anyhow, so this is kind of a healthier version I just threw together. I'm going to go eat, I'm gonna end my video here, and today ended up being a better day. I got a phone call from somebody I was waiting for a phone call from. Very good news. I'm very happy for them. Um, very promising news. So it made my heart happy and I was a little stressed out about how things were going to go in that situation but very happy and things are going very well with that. So it turned out to be a very good day. So I am getting a little nervous because Wednesday is my baby's big day for his snip snip surgery. Um, so I'm gonna probably be a near nervous wreck. I'm gonna be one of those moms who's, who worries and calls the vet's office every five minutes to make sure he's okay and bug them and probably they'll tell me not to come back. So, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go eat my dinner. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone, or a good day. You guys will be seeing us in the morning. So you guys have a good Tuesday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.